This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software. In this last segment of the sessions video series, we'll cover making changes to multiple sessions in bulk, connecting to multiple sessions at once, locating sessions within the connect dialog, and different ways of configuring Secure CRT to automatically connect to one or more sessions at startup. Earlier, I explained how to modify the properties of an existing session. The Connect dialog allows for multi-selection, providing a way to modify common properties of multiple sessions at once. I'll show how to configure a group of sessions such that each session's activity is logged to uniquely named files. I could modify each of these sessions one by one, but the Connect dialog's multi-select capability will save me time and effort. First, I select a group of sessions, holding down the control key while I click on each session. If the sessions I want to modify were all stored in the same folder, I would simply select that folder. Then, I right-click and choose Properties. SecureCRT notifies me that I'm working with more than one session and that any options I modify will be applied to all of the selected sessions. When the Session Options dialog appears, notice how the title shows me that multiple sessions are being modified. I select the Terminal Log File category and specify the path and file name I wish to use. I'm using the session name, host name, and timestamp substitutions displayed here to make sure each log file name is unique. I enable the Start Log Upon Connect option and instruct SecureCRT to include a timestamp on each line of the log file. After pressing OK, all the selected sessions are modified, which I can verify by looking at the log file properties of any session from the group. This multi-select functionality of the Connect dialog is also useful for quickly connecting to multiple hosts in tabs within the same secure CRT window. Again, hold down the control key while selecting a group of sessions and folders. When you press the Connect button, secure CRT will connect to each of the selected sessions. By default, SecureCRT will connect to all selected sessions at once, and authentication prompts may appear in an order that does not match the order of your tabs or tiles since each host will likely have different response times. To ensure that each tab or tile is connected in order, open the Global Options, browse to the Terminal Advanced category, and enable the Connect to Multiple Sessions Sequentially option. If you have a large number of sessions kept in various folders within the Connect dialog, there are ways to help you quickly locate that one session you need. One way to quickly locate a session is called Type Ahead. Start typing the first few letters of a session name until you spot the one you're interested in. If the session I'm looking for is named Chicago R4, I start typing C-H-I-C-A-G-O space R4 until the session is located. Type Ahead works well for sessions that are currently visible. If the session I need is in a collapsed subfolder, I might need to expand the entire tree in order to use Type Ahead successfully. These shortcut keys may help with expanding folders within the Connect dialog on Windows. You might like the search capability provided by the Connect dialog, since it lets you locate sessions based on attributes like host name, session name, and description. Control F brings up the Find Session window. Enter the search text, set your look at and match case options, and then hit the Enter key. Press F3 to cycle through all sessions matching your search. If you use Secure CRT the same way each day and connect to the same session or set of sessions, you may be able to save time by using the Auto Session feature. Open Global Options and in the default session category, enable the Use Auto Session option and add sessions to the Auto Session list by pressing the Add button for each desired session. Each time SecureCRT is launched, it will automatically connect to these sessions. If your job requires connecting to different hosts or sets of hosts, depending on the work you're doing, you can create desktop shortcuts to individual sessions or groups of sessions, including folders. Select your session, folder, or group of sessions and press the Create Desktop Shortcut button. Provide a name for the shortcut to help you identify that group. Desktop shortcuts can help you get quick access to the machines you use regularly. 
If you want to have Secure CRT open the same set of sessions you had open the last time it was closed, open the Global Options, browse to the General Default Session category, and enable the Remember and Connect to Sessions from Last Use option. The next time you launch Secure CRT, it will attempt to establish connections to each of the prior hosts you had open. This completes the Secure CRT Sessions video series. We hope this series has been helpful and we welcome your feedback, so let us know what you think. This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software, logging out.